A storm system socking the southeast is moving up the coast and it will bring heavy rain and high wind to the northeast just in time for the afternoon rush hour. Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Weatherscope. I'm Lisa Moser. For a complete update, let's turn to the forecast center with Mike Bono, who has all the details on the trouble spots. Mike? Thanks a lot, Lisa. And trouble spots there have been as our storm has evolved over the last couple of nights and days from the Gulf of Mexico. And as they usually do, they move inland and into the eastern United States. We'll take a look at the trouble spots that we're looking at, and uh, we must point out that the potential for severe weather is not as great as it was just a few hours ago, but if there is to be any, it will be in North Carolina, Virginia, it looks like, parts of West Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, and East Tennessee, and with a lot of wind blowing uh, through the south, parts of Alabama, maybe Georgia, could get some gusty showers or thunderstorms uh, scattered around and moving very fast, so that could give you a wind gust that could knock over a tree just from that. In fact, we've had reports in the last uh, couple of days of wind gusts knocking over trees. I believe it was in northern Florida, even outside of thunderstorms, not in a thunderstorm. But we still have a tornado watch in effect in central North Carolina as the upper level winds are veering with height. They're sort of turning uh, in different directions as you go up in height. So the atmosphere is, is favorable in that particular aspect of it, although things have quieted down recently. and. Uh, very much shaven down. In fact, this one might be gone completely. I believe this watch in West Virginia and Ohio might suddenly have been trimmed down uh, to nothing as the conditions are not quite as bad as they have been. But conditions have been bad in Florida and water does not go down very quickly in the Jacksonville area after all the heavy rain you've been getting. Heavy rain in the area to the tune of four to even seven inches in parts of northern Florida the last couple of nights and yesterday have caused streets to go underwater some cars to be totaled, as this one probably is, and some people to be evacuated. Storm drains getting clogged with leaves and things like that in the Jacksonville area. And in about uh, 13, 14 counties, it looks like, on my warning um, that I have out of Jacksonville till 8 o'clock, we still have flood warnings in northern Florida. It's uh, a rough situation, Buzz Bernard, our senior meteorologist, but a lot of the emphasis on all this action has been moving north and eastward. Yeah, we've seen the uh, heavy rain move from northeastern Florida right up the coast of Georgia uh, through the Carolinas. As a matter of fact, I think there was one county in North Carolina that had to cancel school this morning because mm -hmm. the uh, roads were impassable because of all the heavy rain up there. But uh, that heavy rain has diminished quite a bit now and is moving on up toward the mid-Atlantic and northeastern United States. And uh, so we're seeing that whole emphasis shift up the coast. That's right. Uh, but uh, still, a lot of action on the map in the south. We can take a look at the map right now and notice low pressure with a host of troughs and fronts around it, Buzz. This low pressure centered right here has uh, widespread effects all the way up through the northeastern United States and back into the upper Midwest, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. where some mixed rain and snow is falling. But uh, the emphasis uh, for the southeast has been on severe weather. We have the tornado watch area through much of North Carolina now, but it looks as though we're getting an awful lot of dry air into that region now, so perhaps even in that watch area, the threat is somewhat diminished. We can see things moving very rapidly, a lot of dry air on the map, and the infrared would indicate some warm ground in South Georgia and Northern Florida. Scattered thunder showers that could get a little bit out of hand, as uh, we notice the center of rotation back uh, north of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, but it looks like even the threat of severe weather in a lot of West Virginia and Ohio diminished as the rain just keeps coming down. Also, you can see here in the North Carolina area, not much of anything left, mm -hmm. but down in Alabama, we're seeing uh -huh. some thunderstorms fire up very rapidly. Now, they will not be severe, but they could be rather vigorous with a lot of lightning and gusty winds. That's right. The fast movement of it alone will cause the winds Absolutely. to pick up. But we've had some winds blowing over the ocean for days now, and uh, with luckily not the high tide we have coastal flood warnings maybe even sound side flooding in north carolina uh, but it's not expected to be severe right now heavy surf advisories just add insult to injury the coastal erosion has been there and it just continues but uh, the gale warnings uh, go all the way to the canadian border and that tells us something about the future movement of this storm we'll see the storm eventually recenter here to the south of long island sometime tomorrow but before that happens a very tight pressure gradient bringing in 35 to 45 mile per hour winds from Long Island Sound southward. That pressure gradient already set up and we've had winds uh, clocked over 60 miles an hour around the Virginia coast, but uh, the rain is on the move and uh, it looks like it may even be turning to snow in parts of New England. 
And we've had reports of a little sleet mixed in up here mm -hmm. in White Plains, and I think you'll have to go quite a ways north up in New England before we hit the pure snow, however. That's right, uh, but at least a wintry aspect. It is, after all, February. Thanks yeah. a lot, Buzz Bernard, our senior meteorologist. You'll want to stay tuned to the Weather Channel for more on this developing situation, especially if you live in that area. But if you can't watch your TV constantly, if you're on the Internet, you'll want to click on weather.com for the best weather information. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Mike. Mike Bono in the Forecast Center. He's been on top of this situation much of the afternoon. We'll be checking back with the Forecast Center at the top of the hour. Light showers linger along the West Coast today while mountain snow gets a little heavier. Heavier rain is also spreading with this system to the east. Let's take a look at our western surface map and you'll see what I'm talking about. We have this feature, the low pressure area with a...